Hey there everybody, Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays, the RimWorld Ideologies. We got plenty of animals. <laughs> yes we do. But we got plenty of animals. Mm, how about you? I'm telling you, the uh, Cyan Chains are feeling good right now. We've had a beautiful Sky Lantern Festival. We had an effective conversion. You know, Silvermane joined the group. We defeated a mech cluster. We, uh... Some of us don't have artificial parts. You know. For the most part, though, we're doing alright. We're doing alright, Pepsi. Less alright, but she'll live with it. Hey, we still defeated a mech cluster, Pepsi. I'm just saying. Look. She'll eventually go on a break. We'll arrest her. And then the conversion can begin, if it has to. It's really gonna be that easy. You won't even believe it. And we're almost at the end of 5502, which means it's almost growing season again. Thank frick. Now, more importantly... Possibly. We have a lot of, uh... We have a lot of animals around here that are kind of trouble. This is Pepsi, right? Yeah, this is Pepsi. Um, I don't know why Dark Shadow went to bed so freaking late. But... There's a mad raccoon. I'm not too worried about a mad rack, to be honest with you. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. Looks like it's already been hit pretty, pretty... Oh, it's pretty dead. Okay. Alright, so let's gather some peeps. Sylvia, Cobra, Vasilla, and let's say Silvamena. Get over here. My hunting squad. We got wargs to deal with. And by wargs, I mean a warg, but, you know. Get up here. Let's deal with them. Alright, Pepsi, I get it. Uh, did the warg... Okay, I, for a second there, I thought it actually left the battlefield. Alright, we got guns. Yes, we do. We got guns, etc, etc, etc. Um, and they're pretty good guns, so... Well, that was perfect timing. Let's freaking go, buddy! Bada bingus, bada dingus. Alright. Well, while we're here... What else is roaming around? A grizzly bear. That's a dangerous one for two. <laughs> Let's head on down and get some more meat for our bellies. Oh, a little too close there. We don't need to be that close. Especially since a uh, grizzly bear can take a lot of shots compared to... You know, compared to a warg. Presumably. Maybe. Actually, I don't know if that's true. Either way, having everyone lined up is ideal. All right, Grizzlies Dunley. Ne up next, Cougaville. Let's go. What else? Uh, the Cougar is the last predator on the field. Although we might team up against some of these mega sloths as well. Sylvie's gonna go hide in her room. Well, that's one gun down. That's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. What broke the Sylvia's back? Darkness. I see. Good lord, what was that last shot? Gobra, through the heart and body. Well, thank goodness you got that body. Um, I mean, it's right there. There's a chance. All right, this is the last one. We're going to do this, then we're going to go. So, let's do it. Give me the shoot juice. Hey, it's mad. What's with this turkey? Oh, boy. Oh! For a minute there, I thought we made a huge mistake. Alright, go home. Gober's gonna bring it in right the heck now. Silvermane's like, alright, I'll go get the meal on the ground. Well done. Alright, good job, team. I really need to get some better... I was gonna say some better legs, but actually, no, you're just, you're just moving slow. Alright. You do you, I guess. Dark Shadow's up in the dead of night. He's, he's literally up at mid... Just midnight. Just, he's here. We're learning biosculpting. It sounds interesting, I'll give it that much. Did we seriously use all of our shells? Oh no, we got one in. One in the pipe, ready to go. Let's go ahead and get a couple more. Just some backups, you know? Get them ready to go. Sylvia went to bed. 
She's gonna get a catharsis when she wakes up. It's pretty great. Hey there, Dark Shadow. Nice little crown you got. He's gonna take a nap now, even though it's five o'clock. <laughs> it's fine. Ramos tried to convert Pepsi. Stop. Look, most of you suck at this. <laughs> I need you to stop. Alright. Doll is working on that cooking skill. And it's pretty great. Solar Flare is less great. It does give us time to chop up the animals. Uh, it is still freezing outside, so... You know, the animals will be fine. We're about to have a ton more muffalo, apparently. As if that's anything new. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. A little bit of Solar Flare... Never hurt anybody. Unless it did. Then that person was hurt, but... It didn't hurt me, so as far as I'm concerned, we're fine. We have a chance to hunt. What are you talking about? Free meat. Grab it all. I'm not going to hunt the other Mega Sloth. Or the rhinos. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, the leather could be nice, but <laughs> oh, I don't think it'd be worth everything else. I hear hunting. Who's doing the shooting? Cobra? No. Vasilla? No. Tom? No. Doll? Doll doing some hunting. Silvermane? Doing some hunting. Look at him go! And look at it go! Alright. Ah, shoot. That means you can't work on the snipper either. Hoy vey! We got a lot of idle people because we we'll rely on technology. Can you believe it? The Scientians, who believe in becoming transhumanist and replacing all their body parts with technologically superior ones, rely on technology. It's weird, right? Yeah, watch out for this Mega Sloth over here. He will come for revenge. Solar Flare is over. It didn't take too long. Not too long indeed. And look at our food storage. It's looking pretty swood storage. And we almost have this full already. Of course, mostly it's wood. And most of it is the wood we found out here. I think it's... Well, no, 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 no. I was going to say I think it's caravan time. But I think it's time to get this done. Twelve days we're going to be without someone. This is fine, though. The question is... Okay, now she's finally going on a tantrum. Okay, get her, get her, get her. Uh, she's gonna... Destroy this... Oh my god, no! Arrest her. Now! I will break you. If you destroy that mortar. You stay here and think about what you did. Also, become a Sanchian. Okay, uh... <laughs> Of all the things you could have decided to do, if you had succeeded in that, we may have had to switch to Coke. Coca-Cola. I had to say the full name because otherwise that was going to be taken out of context. It's still gonna. That's why I'm happy I'm not popular because nobody would take my words out of context and misquote. Don't quote that. Um, Steel Spear normal? I mean, that's fine. Someone's got to use them. I mean, Sir Hop's using them. Doesn't make him happy. But we don't have a... We don't have a highly advanced weapon yet. Someday we will. Anyway, we gotta send four people. And honestly, the easy choice would be... Ramos, who doesn't do any fighting anyway. Ramos... Mm, Dark Shadow will probably be the second easiest to send. And then Dahl? And then who would the fourth one be? That's where it gets a little harder. If Pepsi was out, I would say Pepsi. But as is... I want to say Sir Hop. He's primarily a fighter and a miner. And Ramos is also primarily a miner. We don't need miners right now. So I'm thinking... You four are going to get me a Vanometric Power Cell. Uh, Okay, I was going to say, are you going to send a shuttle? Yeah, you are. Cool. Here it comes. The shuttle has arrived. Okay. Set the load. Sir Hop. Um, Lady Ramos. Mr. Dark Shadow. And... Doll. Okay. Get in. See you all later. Hope you have a good time over there in the yonder. All right. And we get the reward right away. Oh, baby, I love it when a plan comes together. Look at all that Glitter World medicine. Okay. 
who gets the architect arm? Uh, it's gonna have. Okay, so. Could, having someone with construction with it would be really good. I, but he is technically modded already. He's got a better brain. Oh, man. Silvermane makes sense, too, though. Again, construction and crafting. And he doesn't have one yet. He's also, like, here. So let's give him a silver arm. Uh, wait, does anyone have a hurt arm? No one that I can see. So, alright. Silvermane. We're gonna replace your right arm with a better arm. And we have the Glitter World Medicine to make it happen well, hopefully. We also got a decent amount of Plastel. Dude, this was great. And you know what? The, and you know what the consequence is? I have four less people to, to feed for 12 days. Poor us. Ugh, oh, and the free Vanometric Power Cell. I'm just gonna slap it in here. Oh, actually, no, no, slap it in the other one. The one that's always on. Because this one's always on, unless we need the backup. Biosculpting is done. And then we're going to go to bioregeneration. Which I don't know what that does either, but it's probably cool. Where's the biosculptor? I assumed it was in miscellaneous, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's furniture. There's the supercharger. There it is. Biosculptor pod. 120 steel and three components. Not that expensive, honestly. Costs 150 to maintain. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, so technically, everyone is going to need their own. I don't know where to put the first one. I guess we'll start by putting them down here. No, there's not really enough room to put it down there yet, because we would have it like this. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we could put the first one in here as, like, a test. Put it in here for a test drive. Come on, Misky. Mm, we're gonna learn how to sculpt in a bio manner. Boom, boom, here it goes. I don't know what this is gonna do, but it sounds real cool. Can't wait to see it go. That's a... Guaranteed 1,000 watts of power, by the way, at all times. Needless to say, pretty great. We're getting some good rewards. Uh, Silvermane is resting here. Who's doing the surgery? Gobra is doing the sur- No, 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 you're just moving the medicine. All right, gotcha. Tomlin would be the one I would expect to do the surgery. But nobody started the surgery. I'm confused. Alright, it's done. I'm just seeing if it, anyone has like a negative mood due to not having biosculpting. Uh, okay. Prepare medic cycle. Heal all fresh wounds, blood loss, and one random infectious disease. Dang! Once it's filled with five nutrition, select a colonist and right click on the biosculptor pod to start the cycle. Biogeneration, we gotta research for this one. Heal fresh wounds, heal random permanent injury, and restore small missing body parts. Age reverse cycle. Reverse one year of aging. Alright. And pleasure cycle. Temporarily reshape the nervous system to deliver elevated levels of happiness for a time. Hmm. Gotcha. And this decides what we can put into it. I assume we wouldn't put meals. I mean, I guess anything else could go in. You just shove it in there and... Okay, yeah, 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 so, gotcha. And once someone has used it, it will be tuned to them for 60 days. Gotcha. Okay, let's prepare the medic cycle. Yeah, let's prepare the... I don't know, five... Five is a lot of nutrition, man. Like, that's a hundred megasloth meat. I mean, obviously, it's less if you put actual food in there, like, uh, it's a hundred milk as well. But it's like four, eh, five survival, eh, six, actually. Nah, nah, don't do it, Facilla, don't do it right now. I. We do need to start using this eventually, but we're going to need a lot of food, and it's going to need to be... We're going to need to have an excess of food in order to start using that effectively. It's going to have to be huge. The butts are back in town. Hey, butts! How y'all doing? Is that a... Is that a duck? 
That's a duck. I love the duck. Nice duck. What can I say? I'm a duck kind of guy. Anyway, get your ducks over here. Line them up in a row. Let's go have fun. Pepsi, how's this going down here? Down to 97. I mean, it's a start. Really? Y'all gonna just hang out over here? Alright. Yo, what's up with your trader? She's real slow. She's 85 years old. She's frail. She has a bad back. Maybe she should be, uh, you know, riding one of the rams or the alpacas. Just saying. Uh, I don't want to buy ducks, but I could sell some animals. You could sell some adult animals. You know, we have, uh, we have a lot of calves. We actually have a, a... Well, they also have sheep. But, I mean, we have a ram. We have muffalo. We don't need two male muffalo, as far as I know. We have a cow. We have a lot of... We have a lot of cows. We have one bull, which is, I guess, where you want to be. We have some lambs, some little lambs. We're gonna sell some little lambs. We're gonna... Maybe buy something? You got components. Oh, you got 39 components. I want these. I want these a bit. I don't know about a lot, but a bit at least. Oh, we have some bear skin. You want it? Got some wolf skin. Yeah, it's pretty great. You got some camel hide. You know you want that. And fresh bird skin. Uh, we'll keep the reinforced barrel. We won't. I don't think we need to buy another one, although I'm tempted to. Don't get it twisted. These pants are awful. I don't know who made them, but they didn't make them well, which is unfortunate. Okay. And we'll get rid of this normal parka as well. That way... That way we're not l losing much in the way of money. A torture crown? Ugh. Made to induce pain in the wearer. Ugh. I don't want that. Keep it out of here. Take some yayo. Hey, now we're making money. Sweet. All he had to do was sell a little bit of drugs. Sell them. Very cool. They like that too. And look at that, we thinned out our herd by a little bit. And we're about to have more sheep, so I guess that works out perfectly, doesn't it? Which is good, because some of them are uh, on the starving side again. You've detected a logging work site controlled by Butthome. I mean, I, why would I care about that? Silvermane is no longer incapable of walking, and he is armed up, baby! Oh, yeah. Awesome. Of course, it's raid time. The Treaty of Nago from multiple angles. Spring is begonals. Happy 5503, I guess. Five humans over here with bows. That's not too bad. Uh, they will prepare for a while and then attack. Nine over here. All right. Well, there's six of us, and we do have some butts over here who might be able to help us out. Come on, fellow butts. I'm hoping that they attack before the butts leave. But at the same time, I don't want to wake everyone up. But I have to, so, you know. We're just going to have to do what we have to do there. You know what else I have to do? I have to build, like, a another section out here. I'm not the biggest fan of the kill box technique, but honestly, in vanilla, it's still, like, one of the better techniques. Y'all wait, seriously wait until, like, 4 a.m.? All right. Your call. Draft us up. They should be coming from the front, considering it didn't say they were doing otherwise. Alright, Tomberlin. Tomberlin, let's have you head over here. Sylvia, Silvermane, and Gobra. Can stick behind. Alright, this will work for you. Miski, move up. I just realized all of my melees have been held back, or have been sent off. I have no melee units. Although, this group is pretty darn strong, and the other one ended up attacking the butts. So, that was their mistake. Gobra's gotten hit. Hit with a bow in the lung. It's pretty bad. Gobra, retreat. Hey, Miskatonic got hit. He'll probably be fine. Is this one able to shoot? Okay, it is. Okay, they're running. They're, they're out of here. Alright. Good job, team. We got, uh, Rotobalo over here, who's dead in six hours, missing a lung. Ugh. 
They are Neo Shamanists. Oh, that's too bad. They have some really good traits, but uh, she's going to die. What about up here? Eagle. Will you fly? You have eight hours. Let's find out. Misandrous, too smart, greedy. Those Too smart It has its upsides, but other than that, it's awful. Look at all this free stuff. Yeah, you can stay dead. Um, nice. All right, I think we're going to be all right. Just running around carrying jade in their pockets. We're going to be all right. I'm sure of that. Uh, Silvermane, before I forget, back down to herbal medicine for now. Vasilla and Pepsi have started social fighting. This is not how you convert someone, Vasilla. No artificial part. Angering fight. What in the hell was that about? Come on now, we're trying to get her to join us. That's n that's definitely not going to help. Fire starting spree, Gobra. Um, first of all, where's Gobra? There. Uh, I don't understand why they do that when their mood is so good. Um, I do get the pyromaniac thing, but I still think it's a pain in the ass. Alright, well, we need more prison cells. So we're gonna have one. Everyone needs to try to arrest her. That was easy! She can no longer hold the title of Defender of Truth. Damn right. Alright, good job, Miss Katonic. Very simple, very well done. Let her out in a little bit. You ass. Get your title back when we decided you've earned it. I mean, your mood's still good. <laughs> so that's nice. I lost my roll, yeah. Because you were an ass. You shouldn't have done that. Trade caravan from Butom is leaving. See you guys. Thanks for coming by. Uh, we should probably haul those components in. That'd probably be a good idea. Considering we bought 39 of them. Alright, cool. The silver I'm not as concerned about. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Gee, I wonder why. Pick up your bolty. Okay. Hey, let's get some art. Give me ten arts. Why not? Art's good, yeah? In theory. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, this is still gonna take forever. <laughs> Especially since she hates everyone here. Ambrosia Sprout. It's like the fifth one. They pop up all over the place. What's with the... Oh, no, that's our animals. I was gonna say, what's up with the wild animals that are down? I was reading it backwards. Okay. How's everyone doing wound-wise? Vasilla's been patched up. She'll be fine. She, those are just, like, basic wounds. Gobra's been patched up, and Miskatonic's already fully healed. And you know, we have five people here, and we have... Or six people here, we have five of these, so everyone should be able to... You know, be feeling pretty good in the short term. Yo, Vasilla, when you're fully healed, let's try the real deal conversion. And hopefully she won't punch you a bunch. I mean, I know I could... I could preach health to Gobra to heal her faster, but... Honestly, if you hadn't done... If you hadn't tried to go start fires, I probably would have done that. So, since you did, what I'm going to do instead is... Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. Change per day due to mood. I guess I could just make it go slow. Rat self-tamed. Alright, well... Eh, I guess it can hang out. This is a rat. What's the worst it could do? Right? It's just, it's just a little rat. It's a cute little bugger. I don't see the problem. I'm digging this so much. Free power, yo. And you, you thought there wasn't ever going to be such a thing. Nah. In this, in this colony, we do not obey the second law of thermodynamics. Dang it! I mean, maybe we do. I just don't know how that thing works. 
But I refuse to believe that that's the case. All right, well, we are out of storage, officially. We could shrink the hospital. I think there's actually no problem with doing that. So I'm going to do that. All right. What I'm going to do is move this over here. Move this over there. There we go. We can shrink the hospital and then expand our freezer. And... Yeah, both of these work. Yeah, that, that's great. Now we can get rid of this extra end table. I guess we'll have to rebuild the lamp. It's a little weird, but alright. Whatever you want to make me do. Excellent. Good. Okay, gotta get rid of that one. Move this one over here. Mm, baby. Okay, once that's moved, all we need to do is... Not that. <laughs> All we need to do is small up the hospital and embiggen the freezer. Wonderful. It's decent right now, which is pretty good with how much blood there is in it. Um, oh, you will never do cleaning. All right. All right. Embiggen the freezer while you're at it. I'm sure Silvermane will be here. No, no. Sylvia's got it. Works for me. Um... Floors in the freezer don't matter. Floors in here do. I'm gonna sterilize the floors, and then how much silver do we have? 1592? Can we sterilize the kitchen? By Jove, I think we can. Sterilize the entire kitchen. Because good god, it's filthy in here right now. Don't don't, 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 don't let Tomberlin cook in here without cleaning. Alright. In fact, pause cooking until we're done. Pause cooking until the silver's put down. That's eh, an order. It's totally worth it. Oh yeah, place is becoming... Well, at least until it hits from dirty to clean. You know? Then we could re-resume the cooking. But they're getting this done really quickly. Bunch of champs over here. Slightly dirty. Dirty again. I mean, there, it, I can see the dirt. So, yeah, you're not wrong. It is dirty. Everyone's asleep. Alright, it's fine. Yo, you know what? We forgot to burn the stuff again. Ah, well. Keep forgetting to do this. It's fine. Probably. Buffalo 17 is miscarried. I mean, that's... That's an is-what-it-is type deal. Alright, soon it'll be less dirty in the hospital as well. I suppose at this point we should probably just replace the torch lamp with an actual lamp in the hospital. Seems like a good idea. Mm-mm-mm. Gotta love them simple meals. Don't we have... Oh, no, I have that suspended. That's right. We don't have veggies right now. So it totally makes sense that it's suspended. Oh, we have rice! Nice, that was fast. I mean, I guess this gives Tomberlin extra time to, you know, plant. Which is definitely good for us. Good for Bitcoin. Mm, good for Dogecoin. Maybe even good for Sheeb. Don't quote me on that last one, because I don't know if anything's good for that. Cool! Get me lamp. Honestly, slightly impressive at this size? Pretty nice. Hard to complain about that. Uh, it's still dirty in here, but that's just because it's, you know, dirty in here. Beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so now this place is good for... good for working in. Wish you could put the TV on top of the dresser. That's how we do it in our house. No, you can't do it on the real one. Mm. That'd be too weird, I guess. Tomlin, I mean, I get what you're doing. I do. I really do. But stop doing it. Um. Okay, unsuspend both of these. We now have the stuff to make fine meals. If you can make fine meals, prioritize fine meals, please. If you can't, then 
don't, because that's how that would work. Alright, he's been supercharged. Look at him go! At the speed of woe. Fine meals all day, yo. It's clean enough in here. Beautiful, beautiful. Who's gonna go up? You're gonna love it. How's this going? Hey, it's going down! Hear that? It's a sound of progress, my friends. That is gonna be it for this episode of that Plays RimWorld Ideology. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more, because I'll keep coming and we'll stop coming. Because that's what it do. I think it's almost time for another leader speech, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not 100%. We, our lads will be home in 8.5 days, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. What do you think we should do next? Should we, should we focus on research? Maybe we should focus on trade. All good concepts, I must say. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld Ideology. My name is Thet, Ms. Kathonic is doing our research, and I will see you in the next video.